morning. There's something quite exhilarating about sleeping in the middle of the safari in a tent. Some strange noises through the night, perhaps even just a, a little bit scary. I think I heard a hippo eating right outside my window. But it is a beautiful morning. I'm up. The animals are up. I think it's perfect day to go on safari here at the Kempinski Olaramari, where I actually get up close and personal with the animals. So there are certain safaris out there where it's almost park-like, it's almost enclosed, but here at Olari Mari Kempinski, you're getting a real true sense of, of the environment that the animals live in. They're free to roam, there's no fence, there's no gates, so you really get up close and interact with them in their own environment. Uh, and another thing that Kempinski has done is they've had these specially constructed vehicles so that there's very limited obstructed view. And again, you can get up real close and personal. And our guide today, Raphael, yeah. how are you, my friend? Forever. Tell us a little bit about what we might expect to see out there. Oh, well, in this area of conservancy, it's one of the best, best, best area to visit. And we might be lucky to see some leopards, some elephants, some giraffes, some buffaloes, and probably some, a lot of wildebeest, a lot of wildebeest in the area. Uh, not forgetting small, small, small animals like the dick dick, the birds, or all the parrots and the hippos who comes all around the tents. So all of that is within this area right yeah, here? Without in, in this area. And the animals are not forced to stay in here, they just happen to be part of this environment, uh, they right? They like this environment because we have very less disturbances. We just have a few cars and the camps are also very few and we restrict the drives and it's almost very exclusive. So anybody who's on this safari, very, very exclusive. You're not joining this safari with a thousand other people. This is a place to be. This is a more of an exclusive safari. Perfect. Well, let's go. I'm ready. All right. Thank you. Good. Thank you. Before we came out here, the people at Kempinski promised us that we would see all the wildlife we wanted to see, all the big guys. We've only been out here 10 minutes. We've already seen a leopard, the ever elusive leopard, because you could typically go on a thousand safaris and never see. I've seen plenty of zebra, I've seen plenty of world of beast. Um, and look at this, herd of elephants. Even seen some hippopotamus. Among the few uh, places where you'll find such a population of uh, wild big cats, we have about 70 to 100 lions just uh, in the neighborhood, and you don't have to drive far to get to see these lions and many other cats that uh, many travelers would want to see. This is the reason to come on any safari is to be able to get this close to this kind of an animal. Amazing, absolutely amazing. <laughs> he had some 
Yes. <laughs> See what I'm riding. <laughs> riding your chair. <laughs> So not only can you go safari during the day, what most people don't realise is most of the animals are actually really active at night. So we can do a night safari here at Polar American Pinsky using a special infrared light. So let's pop in and go out there and see what animals are out there during the night. This is, I guess, doesn't get any more genuine than this. Night safari, 20 feet maybe from Pride of Lions, who typically feed at night. But, oh, yeah, they play around too, obviously. But it's, um, If you've really enjoyed these videos about a once in a lifetime experience at the Olari Mara Safari Resort and you feel like it's something that you just have to do, then join me on my next safari. You can contact me for details at richard at richardcrawfordluxury.com.